examining these organic specimens are, well, extraordinary. They're like nothing I've ever seen before, perhaps nothing this planet's ever seen before. What the hell? Uh, 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 uh. Are you saying that you think these things are extraterrestrial? Uh, uh, uh. An attack, not from another planet, but from another dimension. <laughs> You got 15 seconds to give us our fucking money back. Well, I suppose after you've seen enough of these films, uh, almost anything loses its shock value. Happy. 
So, what, you don't think this is a good idea to come out here and ditch school today? I guess so. What do you mean, I guess so? Dude, look at that. I just think, we would be sitting in the classroom, we would be doing classwork right now. Yeah, I guess you're right. You know, I don't understand you. I mean, this morning when I brought it up, you were all for it. I mean, what the hell? Why are you worrying all of a sudden? I'm not worrying all of a sudden. You told me about it this morning. First thing I thought about was, it was a great idea. Second thing I thought about was getting caught. You're worried about getting caught? Well, yeah, aren't you? I know if I get caught, my ass will be busted. I could kiss Halloween goodbye. You don't have to worry about that. Nobody's going to catch us out here anyways. Just when you think you're safe, you're in trouble. Well, don't worry about getting caught now. We're already here, so let's have some fun. Want to ride down the Hunter's Pond? Sure, why not? Like you said, we're already here. Last one better take the swim. Hey, no fair. You got a head start. Like you did. Tell me you never thought about getting caught? Not once, man. Come on, Joy. I know you above anyone would hate to miss out on Halloween. What's up? First, like I said before, there's no way we're going to get caught out here. At least I know. I won't. What do you mean by that? Well, as far as I know, I'm the only one that you know that can write like your mom, right? Yeah, so? So if I somehow forget to write an excuse for you... Real funny. I think they call that blackmail. It still doesn't explain why you're not worried about getting caught. Second, did I forget to mention that uh, my parents leave in town for the weekend? And assuming they left on time, they've been gone for about two hours now. I knew something was up. You're not that brave, Bloodface. Missed. Happy Halloween, boys and cool. This is the Chuck and the Boys. Keep up the hard work. So what do you want to do for Halloween? Assuming we don't get caught. I don't know. I know there's plenty of parties to go to. You know, Billy Stratton's having another party, too. I know you don't like him very much. 
This part is pretty rad. This looks out of stance in the whole bit. Yeah, you're right. I don't like Billy that much. And I could think of a lot of other things to do than go to one of his stupid parties. So can I take that as a definite no? You don't want to go? What about your brother? What about him? Well, is he having a party? Or does he know of one? Now, if he was having a party, or even knew of one, do you think he'd tell me? And besides, he's going to have a party at our house where my dad would have his ass. What'd they do, take his Zoom car away? Yeah, at least. Well, I'm sure we'll find something to do. If, if we, we don't, don't get, get caught. caught. Maybe we should have our own party. Yeah, you know, if I was going to have a party, I'd have it right out here. Here at the pond? Yeah, why not? Look at this place, man. This place could be creepy at night. It could be real creepy during the day, too. I mean, just picture it. Everybody running around in their costumes. Ghouls and ghosts. Man, it'd be way cool. And talk about a seance. If you couldn't conjure anything up out here. What do you mean by that? You've heard about this place, man. There were some major witch hunts going on around here a long time ago. That's why they call this place Hunter's Pond. Because of the witch hunters. I thought those were just stories. Are you kidding? No way, Dave. Everything you heard is true. There were so many witches burned at the stake around this pond. Put it this way. If you had marshmallows back then, you'd have been a big hit. That's sick. They say that after they burned the witches, they threw the remains into the pond. <laughs> yep. They say that the pond turned red at one time. Because they threw so many bodies into it. How do you know so much about witch hunts? You know I'm into that stuff, man. I knew you were into horror movies, monsters, and special effects. But I never knew you were into witches. Just think of all the demonic souls of the undead roaming around the banks of this pond. Yeah. Just think. Yep, this would be a perfect place for a Halloween party. Where would you have one at? I was gonna have a Halloween party. And had the guts. I'd have it in a place you love. A real haunted house. With real ghosts and everything. Like the kind you see in movies. It'd be way neat. Wouldn't it? Did you hear me? Joey! What? Did you hear me? Yeah, I heard you. Haunted house, man. What are you doing? I found something. What? I don't know. Come look at it. What is it? I don't know. It looks like some kind of box or something. Yeah, you're right. Toby, look. Yeah, I am. Pretty neat, huh? No, over there. What? There was somebody standing over there, man. He was dressed in black. What are you talking about? Toby, there was somebody standing over there. Yeah, right. Toby, I swear to God. Yeah. You and your witch story is trying to scare me. Sounds like you scared yourself. This looks like it's been buried here a long time. Where do you think it came from? I don't know, man. Should we open? Yeah. What is it? I don't know. It looks like a gargoyle or something. I saw one of these in a movie once. <laughs> Figures it looks like something you saw in a movie. Well, maybe you were right. About what? Maybe it does have something to do with witchcraft. Come on, I was only joking. Well, you never know. Where do you think it came from? I don't know, but it's mine now. Put it back! Is that the old guy you saw? I told you I saw somebody. Why should we put it back? It is the essence of evil. You must not keep it! What do you mean, evil? The statue possesses the soul of a very powerful demon. That the soul of this demon is released into the world. Evil will invade the keeper of the statue. Plague will follow. Many will die. Well, where'd it come from? It was buried upon these waters many, many years ago. Where it was to remain, 
until he found it. It must be put back and left alone. The demon must not be released. Put it back and forget thine eyes ever fell apart. How do you know all of this? Where'd he go? I don't know, man. But this is weird. This is really weird. You can show that again. What are you gonna do with it? Well, I found it, so I guess I'm gonna keep it. You can do whatever you want with it. No, thanks a lot. But I'd put it back. Well, thanks for that little bit of information. What time you got? Jeez, I better get going. Yeah, me too. What are you in a hurry for? Your parents are out of town. Yeah, well, I'm gonna stop at the library. What for? So I can find out some more about this. Well, if you find out anything, give me a call. Yeah, sure. Hey! You kids get your asses out of here. You know this part of the pond is private property. Chill out, man. We're leaving, all right? Damn kids. They ain't gonna learn nothing to get to school all the time. Wonder what this world's coming to. That guy needs some help. Some serious help. Blah, blah, blah. I'm out of here, dude. I'll try them off. You guys upstairs? Hey, there you are, Rocky. What's up? Come on, boy. Come on. What are you doing outside? Come on. Come on. Dear Josh, there's plenty of food for you and your brother. Remember to feed Rocky. You and your brother behave, no arguing, no parties, no parties. Take care of the house, love mom and dad. Here's a number where we can be reached. Da, 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 da. Rock, you know what this means? This means they don't trust us. Who'd have thought? What do you want to bet that's them now? I bet you, bet you a bone. Hello. Hey, Josh. You win. What? Nothing. I was talking to my dog. What's going on? So you by yourself? Oh, you mean my parents gone? Yeah, smart ass. Yeah, they're gone. All right, so it's party time. Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? Maybe. Look, I just got home, okay? The first thing I found was a note on the fridge. It said, take care of the house and no parties. Here you go, Rock. Look, they're parents. What do you want them to do? Leave you a note saying, dear Josh, please have a party and destroy the place. Besides, I'm going to clean the place myself. They'll never know. Oh, okay. That makes me feel real fucking secure. Real funny. Think about it. In the meantime, you still want to play some b-ball? Yeah. Okay. Well, look. I've got some things to do. Then I'll get the guys together, and I'll be over there. So be ready. Okay. All right. All right. That's good. I'll talk to you later. All right. Well, Rock, we're going to get away with it. We're going to have a party. But you know what? we got to find a way to keep Joey quiet. That's our only problem. Told me what I found today. What is that? It's an old statue. Old statue? Where'd you find that? Down by the pond. Down by the pond? Yep. You didn't go to school today, did you? Dude, mom and dad leave right away, you start fucking around. 
<laughs> That's not true. I was fucking off way before mom and dad left. That's funny. That's real funny. Is this why you stopped at the library? Yeah. I wanted to see if I could find out some more about the statue. Some more? What do you know about it already? Well, if what I was told is true, it was used for witchcraft a long time ago. Who told you that? There was this old man down by Hunter's Pond today when we found him. He told me it was real evil. Evil? Yeah, and get this. He said there's a soul of a demon living inside it. And then he disappeared. Soul of a demon, and then he disappeared? I know it sounds strange, but if you don't believe me, you can ask Toby. Uh, yeah, don't, Toby don't know his head from his ass, okay? I didn't expect you to believe me. Good, because I don't. Well, it's true. Whatever, man. Watch this. Soul of the demon. Do you really exist? Soul of the demon. <laughs> Show yourself. <laughs> well, man, if nothing else, you sure got one hell of an imagination. Chump. Hey, you ready? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm ready. Come on, Josh, get your ass in gear, man. It's getting dark. Pronto, dude. Okay, hurry up. Let's go. Yeah, look, tell them to lower it, man. All right? All right, all right. We're losing our light. Come on. I'll be right there. Huh? Get your ass in gear, huh? Sounds like some of your closest friends. Fuck you. Just be rocky while I'm gone, and uh, you and your demon friend, don't go tearing the house apart, all right? And just remember, when Mom and Dad are gone, you're my responsibility. All right, 1610, our favor. Maybe we should start shooting with our left hand to make it fair. What do you think? Right on, dude. <laughs> That's funny. You guys are only up by three baskets. I wouldn't start celebrating just yet.
that, man? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no way. Dude, we won. Oh, by the way, man, I got that brew for the party. For what? Tonight's party, man, what? I told you I'd think about having a party, man. I didn't say I was going to have one. Oh, man. Look, man, I told him when I got home today, man, I God. found a note on the fridge. It said, no parties, man. No parties while my parents are gone. Come on, man. I told you I'd take full responsibility for no the way. party no tonight. No way, man. Are you no fucking way. crazy? No way. All right? I'm not... Would you put him in charge of a party at your house? Uh, no way, dude. Correct me if I'm wrong, man, but wasn't it you that pissed in John John's sink at that party last no. year? No. Oh, no, it wasn't yeah, me. Dude. You're a fucking poser, man. Man, you guys make me sound like a real prick. Well, if the condom fits. Oh, that was very good. Did you just make that up? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I just did. Well, I what thought it think, was man? pretty good, man. Yeah, I, I liked, liked it. it. Oh, well, there you go. It's unanimous. Your fan, your critic, everybody agrees. Maybe you should take this out on the road. And you know, since we're not having a party, you can start tonight. I didn't say we weren't having a party. Oh, dude, oh, yes, yeah. you did. No, I said I was worried about having a party at my parents' house. I didn't say we weren't having a party. I got a plan. You know that small section of houses down by the river? I know one down there, man, that's empty. Nobody lives there. You know why that place is vacated, don't you, dude? No, why? Yeah, I've heard about it. What? Well, Joey told me something about it. Of course, that's Joey. Yeah, yeah that's true. What? Is this place supposed to be haunted or something? So the story goes, man. Really? I didn't know that. Dude, how long have you lived here? Oh, man, as long as you have, you know that. Yeah, and you, you, you still haven't heard about this place, have you? Read my lips. No. Dude, maybe you should buy a sound like tissue for that cave ears. Oh, more humor, right? Anyway, I thought that'd be a cool place to have a Halloween party. A Halloween party at a haunted house. Fucking A plus, dude. Man, what made you think of having a party at that demon infested place? Believe it or not, my brother. You're bullshitting, right? No, I'm not, dick. My brother and Toby came home today after being down in Hunter's Pond. They brought home this weird-looking statue. Said it had something to do with witchcraft. No way, dude. That's weird. You think that's weird? He also told me there's supposed to be a soul of a demon inside of it. Give me a break. And that's what made you think about this house? No. That's what made me think about having a seance. And that's what made me think about this house. Josh, don't get me wrong or anything, but, uh... Personally, I like your brother, but have you ever thought about having his head checked out? Dude, what makes him think there's a soul in this thing anyways? He said some old man down by the river told him so. Some old man tells him a story like that and he believes him? Dude, what else do you say about this old bastard? Not much, man. He just said the old guy was really weird. What? Do you know this old fart or something? <laughs> no. So what got your ass all uptight, man? It's just stories I heard, man. Stories about what? You know, man, like ghosts and shit like that. Oh, man, you don't believe in all that shit, do you? It doesn't matter, fag. You do believe him, don't you? Don't you? Yeah, all right, I do, dude. Does it make your life any better? So, what did you find at the library that got you so excited? Check this out. You got this at the library? Yep. Doesn't look like your ordinary library book. Well, look, it's not. It doesn't have a slot for a library card or anything. It was pretty strange, too, because I was looking through the section on demons and witchcraft and all that, and I just went back to the section I had just looked, and this book was there. So? So? It wasn't there just seconds before. What? You know, this is going to sound stupid, but it's like somebody wanted me to find it. Oh, come on. Oh, what do you mean, oh, come on? Look, if you weren't with me today when all the stuff happened by the pond, with an old man and everything, and I called you and told you about it, would you have believed me? Well, no. Well, then. Well, okay. But you know, that's not the weird part. Huh? Check this out, man. Wow! Well said, but that ain't it either. What do you mean? Hey, that's him! Yeah, it sure is. Did you read this already? Well, are you going to tell me what it says? Or are you going to make me read it myself? Come here. Come here. Ow! What did you do that for? Just want to let you know you're not dreaming after you hear this. Dreaming? I wasn't even asleep. All right, tell me what it says. Everything an old man told us is true. It's right here in the book. No way. Yes way. 
Dude, it says that during an exorcism, the soul of the demon was somehow placed into the statue. Oh, come on. That sounds like the plot of one of them B-rated horror movies you watch all the time. You think that's weird? Don't you think that old man looked pretty healthy? I mean, for being dead for a couple hundred years. What? Do you want me to hit you again? Uh-uh. -uh. Anyways, the old man is the exorcist. He put the demon soul into the statue. It says that the the demon, his name is Astaroth, something, yeah, something like that. It says he's the most powerful of his time. Close your mouth. Pretty strange, huh? What's pretty strange? Dude, you were right. This is pretty cool. Oh, yeah, I told you, man. Well, now you can put it back. Calm down. Dude, this would be perfect for the party tonight. You having a party tonight? That's none of your business. What do you mean? Okay, check it out. We'll tell the girls that we're going to have a seance tonight to scare up a demon, okay? Oh, I know. We'll tell them the same story that your brother made up about there being a demon inside. Yeah. I didn't make it up, asshole. Listen, they'll be so scared tonight, they won't want to leave our sides. Hey, this isn't a toy. And if you mess around with this, you're going to start something that you can't finish. Dude, your brother's too strange. Listen, I got to get out of here, all right? I'll all see right. you later. All right, later. Why are you going to act like that? So you're having the party tonight, huh? Yeah, I am. If it's any of your business, which it's not. You know your ass will be busted if Mom and Dad find out you're having a party here. That's why I'm not having it here. And Mom and Dad aren't going to find out anything, are they? Now look, I'm going to the store. Tony's gonna stop by. You have him wait for me. I'll be right back. So what do you think they're having a party tonight? Why didn't you tell him about all the stuff in this book? I don't have any idea where they're gonna have that party. I didn't really didn't want to say anything about the book with that asshole Mike around. So I guess that means you're not gonna let him use the statue. Mm, you guessed right. But I would like to know where they're gonna have that party. Me too. I thought you couldn't go out anyhow. Can't. Something about ditching school? Yeah, thanks, asshole. Hey, it's not my fault your parents found out. Yeah, well, if you find out anything about the party, give me a call anyway, okay? Yeah, sure. How'd it go, so I'll see you later. All right, see you later, man. This place is going to be perfect for the party tonight. I don't think so. Why? Isn't this place supposed to be haunted? That's why. Oh, come on. It's Halloween. Where's your spirit? Yep. This is the night of the undead. And the demons and the ghouls walk the earth. How oh, funny. Perfect. Next year, I'm going to a seance. That's right. I was thinking about it. You're kidding. What, are you scared? It's not one of my favorite pastimes. Don't worry about it, it'll be fun. What happens if we get caught using this place? We go to jail. But don't worry, maybe we'll conjure up a demon tonight and he'll kill us. That way we won't have to worry about it. Where'd you get this guy? He's a little funny. Well, Tony and Josh are gonna meet us here, right? Yeah, Scott and Heather are supposed to meet us here too when Scott gets off work. He told me he's going to make us some pizzas and bring them with him. Really? Yeah. The benefits of working at a pizza place. Well, what do you think? This is it. It sure looks fun. It looks like fun. All right, here they come. Come on, stop. Going. Why'd you stop walking? I'm looking at the house. Well, so are we. Pretty creepy, huh? That's cool. I don't uh, like this. I think it has great possibilities. Definitely. What do you think, shall we? Let's, Let's go. go. Be 
Get that on my face. That light. Well, what do you think the chances are that the door is going to be unlocked? Well, I'm gonna talk to you so we can see where we're going, huh? What? Are you afraid of the dark? Shut up. This is great. Yeah, this is. It's gonna be all right. You've always wanted to spend a night in a haunted house. Why? Good. It's just one of those things I wanted to do. Well, tonight you'll get your chance. Good. I can't wait either. I know. You didn't really expect that to work, did you? It's fun. I like how we find the power box. Yeah, like. that doesn't work. I've got these candles we can use. Well, those we're going to need for the seance. That sounds good. Let's check this place out. Now, Mike, you go first. Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing? Wet, man. Oh, are you going to check the power box? Yeah, why? You want to come with me? Yeah. Yeah, let's go put this stuff down and then we'll go find it. Okay. Right, check this out. Oh, right. Got a couch, table. Misfits. Misfits. You are a misfit. Look, somebody's been here before. How do you know that? Because there's wax all over the fireplace. What was the last time you were here? Get that out of my face. I don't know where that's been. Or where it's going to go. Hey, you know what, guys? I've got a feeling tonight is a night that we're never going to forget. All right, let's party. Let's do it. Well, I don't know what that means. I guess you want to try that. Oh, man. We tried. You're going to love this. Great. Come on, let's go. Did you bring the statue? No, I didn't bring the statue. Why not? Because you don't need a statue for a seance. It won't. It would have been perfect. Hey, listen. We don't... We don't need a statue for a seance, all right? Okay, look, here's what we do. Here's what we do. We tell them about the statue, okay? Tell them the story behind it. Yeah. Then we tell them about the demon we're going to conjure. Right? Yeah. Okay, that'll work. Yeah, right. there's no problem with that. What's wrong with that? All right, I guess so. Good. Then let's go have your seance. Let's go. Come on. All right, man. How close you want to get? Would you guys love me or something? All right, everybody, listen up. Oh, no. Here he goes. It's time to call on the undead. The demon. He's your boyfriend. Thanks, and he's that way even without drugs. Oh, that's very funny. Now let's see, to get this thing started, we're gonna need that. All right, I read somewhere that you need a round table when you conduct a seance. Like we were saying earlier, Tony, I'm gonna need those candles. Do we have to do this? Yes, we have to do this now, but this isn't going to be your average, everyday, run-of-the-mill seance. You know why? Because tonight, we call on a specific demon. What's he talking about? Okay, let me explain. See, today Josh's little brother and his friend, Tubby Toby, found this old statue down by Hunter's Pond. So? So, according to Joey, the statue that they found possesses the soul of a very powerful demon. Is that true? Well, that's what Joey says, and that's Joey. And he, he's a little weird. So is Mike. And what makes Joey think there's a demon soul in the statue? Well, he said some old man down by the pond told him that when he and Toby found it. Sounds like something Mike would say. Anyway, we're going to call on this demon tonight and see if he's got the spirit to come party with us. We could call him on this. If it worked. <laughs> okay, everybody, join hands. Okay. You relax. Okay, now, everybody concentrate. 
You don't really think we're going to contact a demon tonight, do you? I mean, it's just a joke. <laughs> you never know. It's not funny. Oh, come on. You believe this stuff, too? <laughs> My grandfather told me when he was a kid, he was by himself one day, and he got a call from his grandmother telling him that he should be kind to other people and that he should be the best possible person that he could be. So what's so worried about that? His grandmother died two days before he got the phone call. You never told me that. It's not the kind of thing you talk about every day. All right. I have to admit, that's a little weird. If it's true. So because of your little grandmother story, you think we're going to conjure up a demon tonight? No. It's just that people like to joke about this kind of thing. And... Just because your imagination can't stretch that far, <laughs> doesn't mean it can't happen. I'll tell you what, if we do conjure up the demon tonight, you can be the first one out the door, Tiffany. And that's what makes you such an expert on seances, Mike? What, are you some kind of psychic? <laughs> no, that's psycho. Yeah, really? <laughs> okay, okay. That's real funny, guys. That's really funny. Are we ready to try this now? I mean, do you guys have your jokes out? Yes, uh, are you guys ready to try this? Okay, and by the way, no, I'm not a psychic or a psycho. I mean, come on. Haven't you guys ever seen them do seances in horror movies? I mean, they all sit around, they join hands, and there's always one specific demon or spirit that they concentrate on. Now, whether it works or not, it doesn't matter. It's Halloween. Let's have some fun. So that's how you learn how to do this? From watching a movie? That. And this. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, man. I gotta conduct the same get out of here. <laughs> they don't yeah, do this if you don't want to. No, it's okay. I'm in. I wouldn't miss it. Good. All right, give me back your hand. All right. Now, did Joey tell you the name of this demon that's supposed to be inside the statue? Yeah, he did. His name's Astroth. All right. Now everybody concentrate on the name Astroth. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about the rest of you, but I feel stupid doing this, really. I mean, shh. Come just... on. All right, all right. Let's go. We are calling on the demon Astroth. Yeah, is this call going to be long distance? All the way down to the gates of hell. <laughs> We better call collect. Unless it's an 800 number. <laughs> All right, look. If you guys don't want to do this, we don't have to. I just oh, thought it would be fun. Let's just do it. All right, come on. Just, come on, man. It's just a joke. Man. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Uh, big deal. Astroth, if you are here, make your presence known. Can you hear us? We want to know if Astaroth's soul is living in the world of the undead. We want to call Astaroth's soul from his statue and bring him into our world. Show your demonic powers now, tonight, on All Hallows' Eve, the night the dead walk the earth. I guess it's not going to work. I don't, know, I don't think so. Yeah, I guess you're right. Let's party. Sounds like good. <laughs>
I just want to know one thing. Where is the pizza? I mean, what's the deal? Scott should be here soon. Mike, where are the pencils? Man, there was no dial tone. Tell who? Well, who was it? Nobody. Nobody. It was a crank call. So the phone does work. Let me see it. I'm going to give Scott a call, see if he's on his way with the pizza yet. What's wrong? Well, there's no dial tone. Maybe you can call in, but you can't call out. Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, it's gonna be so bitching out there. And uh, isn't this house supposed to be haunted or something? Yeah, man. I heard like Josh. Josh told me that they used to like burn like bitches on the stake. At this very spot we're going through tonight. Where this house is? Yeah, man. So you know it's going to be haunted. It's going to be great. I don't know, man. It's pretty scary. God, no. What's this asshole on? I don't know. He's riding your ass. Haha, <laughs> looks like your mom. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, man. So there's some weird drivers on Halloween, huh? Yeah. Hey, that pizza smells pretty good, though. Do they know you're bringing it? Yeah, man. I told Josh, and you know Josh. He'll tell, like, everybody in the whole neighborhood. How much farther is this? I don't know, man. He said, go. It's right up here on the right. Okay. Hang on, we're almost done. So you want to go look around? I don't know. Come on, it'll be fun. We could go get lost and, uh... And then when we're done, we could go get lost again. Okay. But only if you promise to take advantage of me. Oh, yeah. Alright, if I have to. Yes, you have to! Alright, alright. Here, hold on. Let me get a couple of beers. Hey, where are you guys? Where are you guys going? Well, uh, we're gonna go get lost. Well, Scott will be here anytime. That's cool. We're gonna go work up an appetite, save us some pizza. Well, if you guys are going upstairs, you're gonna need this. Hey, thanks. We'll be back. I don't know what she sees in here. I know what she's after. What? What's in his pants? <laughs> his wallet. Oh, you're in the only thing you want. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? What was that? I don't know. Hold back. So do you guys like conjure up these spirits like Pinhead, Leatherface, Chucky, Bruja, anyone? Yeah, but they left as soon as they heard you were coming. 
Well, maybe she told him he was bringing pizza. Maybe they would have stayed and party with us. That's real funny. Hey, man. Where's Beauty and the Beast, dude? Hmm? <laughs> you know, Mike and Stacy. <laughs> I went for a walk with you, my lady. You're a baby. What? <laughs> so tell me, dude. Where did you get those stupid-ass clothes? Oh, glad you asked, dude. It's a mixture of Magnum P.I., Dracula, and your fucking mom, dude. <laughs> your fucking mom. <laughs> What's the matter? Don't you smell that? Yeah, it smells like shit. So what? It's an old house. It's the way they smell. Now what? It's cold in here, too. Well, that's all right. I can take care of that. Your nose is bleeding. Yeah, it must be the rough sex. What's the matter? I don't know. Mike, what's wrong? Talk to me. I don't know. It hurts. It hurts. Easy now, man. Oh, you. Shit. What happened? You know what that looks like, don't you? Oh, which one is short? Yeah, you're like, who's that? Hey, I hope it's not the time of the month, because, uh, you know, we might go out and walk myself in. You can count on anybody to go jogging. All right, yeah. I even brought my combat sneakers. <laughs> oh, man, you gotta be careful, dude. Don't forget your rubbers. Here, man, use my phone. Thanks. <laughs> Mike's gonna be pissed. Why, dude? Because he asked me to save him some pizza. Oh, well, it's his own fault, man, for not coming down and getting some, right? Yeah, we haven't seen him all night. And chances are you probably won't. Oh, believe me, no great loss. A night without Mike is more of a pleasure than a pain. <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> what? Mean, but, but true. This is perfect for Halloween, don't you think? Yeah, it's cool. Ow! What? I just stubbed my toe on something. What is that? Hey, look at that. Hunter's pie. That's where uh, Josh's little broke on the statue. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, that's where we did a beer. Let's see what else we can find yeah. here. Look at that, a mattress. Hey, that'll work. Yeah, that's perfect. You know, I've never made love in a haunted house before. Well, let's talk to this man, a great man, in fact. Yeah. And he told me you have to do something once 
before you can do it twice. How profound. You want, you want profound? I'll give you profound on it. Well, Easy, big boy. What? We'll get profound after you go get me another beer. Another beer? You have to be drunk and make love to me. You have to have another beer? Well, it helps. <laughs> all right, then. I'll be right back, all right? Don't go away. Great. Promise? Promise. I'm gonna take Sarah down some noodles. Give me a kiss in case I don't come back, all right? Be careful. Don't go away, babe. Be right back. Oh, oh what's up, man? No, how's your walk going, man? You jogging, you know? Oh, yeah, it's slowly, but uh, I'm trying to speak to you, if you know what I mean. No, well, good luck, dude. Watch your run, bless you. <laughs> Shit. Josh, uh, have you seen the beer with, or the ice chest anywhere around? Over there, right where it's always been. Oh, do you drank so much already, you forget where things are? Hey, uh, you guys seen Mike anywhere? No, and I don't expect to either. Okay, then. See you later, then, all right? Oh, dude. Oh, relax, dude, relax. Oh, nice view, man. But I know I didn't come in this way. Oh, bummer, man. It's experience in a haunted house. It was a little spooky, but it was all right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. All right. Just kidding. But was it a trick or treat? That's the question. Well, some girls might have considered it a trick. I considered it a treat. Oh, yeah? That's good. And speaking of treats, I'm hungry. I don't know about you. Oh, yeah, I worked up an appetite. Well, how about I go downstairs and get some more pizza? Yeah, and some beer, too. Oh, yeah, the beer, too. I can't forget. Tight. With the beer drinking monster here. <laughs> Right back. I wonder what's taking Scott so long, guys. Oh, with all that beer he drank, he probably passed out somewhere. I'm getting a little worried about him. I think I'm gonna go look for him. Hey, if you need anything, we'll be right here. Yeah. I don't think what happened. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, am I interrupting something here? So, where's everybody? Scott! Scott, where are you? Come on, it's getting late and I want to go home.
party with you for as long as I live. Listen, babe, they're out of pizza, but I got a couple more brews. Uh... Rhonda? What the fuck? It's not here. It's got to be out in the car. I'm going to go get it. You're not going to leave me here by myself. Relax, okay? I'm just going to go out to the car and get the tape. Besides, if Scott and Heather show up and nobody's here, they're going to think we're all gone. Okay, now just relax. You'll be fine. I'll be right back, okay? Just relax. I'll be right back. Well, hurry up.
Josh! I've had enough! It's cold in here. It smells bad. I'm gonna go home. I'm leaving! Josh, enough is enough! It's about time. Where have you been? Ah! All right, guys, real funny. Come on, open the door. Hey, open the door. Scott. Tiffany. Come on, guys, open the door. Come on, open the door. So I just have to get in a couple beers. And the next thing I see, I see you laying on a bit torn up. Fucking saw on her, dude. Right. I'm telling you. Okay. Uh, what, are you, what are you looking at like this? Trick or treat, Halloween, the whole deal, right? I get it. I get it. I'm, I'm serious, dude. She sounds like that. Okay. All right, man. All right. Where are you going? Are you going to go say hi to Rhonda? No. Don't go up there. Okay. Hey, dude, I told All you. All right. Don't go up there, man. Rhonda. Hey, guys. Trick or treat. Trick or treat! Josh, man, I'm not joking around here. Come on. You guys are amazing, you know that? Josh! I'm telling you, man, this is not a joke, alright? Come on, man, this isn't trick or treat at all, man. This is serious. Okay, You're kidding around, man. Come on! Trick or treat! Josh, man, I'm telling you, don't go. What room is she? The one at the end there, man. I'm telling you, alright. Listen, Josh, man, this is not a joke anymore, alright? She's in there dead, dude. She's laying up there dead! Don't you understand that? Yeah, right. Rhonda! <laughs> it's true, Zim. Yeah. Told you. Yeah. Uh, dude, what are we gonna do, man? We gotta get out of here, man. Let me let me think. Let me think. We gotta get everybody out of the house. All right. Mike, Mike and Stacy are up there. Mike. Mike, Stacy! Mike! You downstairs. Come on. Josh, man. Let's just get the fuck out of here, man. No, man. We gotta get Tiffany. We gotta find everybody. Come on. Tiffany! Scott! Heather! Tiffany! Tiffany! Scott! Tiffany! Tiffany. Scott! Ross. What is it? It's Tiffany, man. What? It's Tiffany. Oh, my God! God. Why? Josh, what the hell's going on around here? Joey was right. What? My brother, he was right. About what? The soul of the demon, man. He said we'd start something we couldn't finish. Great. You mean the fucking demon running around here killing everybody? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is we're going to get out of here, man. We need help. Yeah, let's just go to 7-Eleven right now and look up an exorcist. How does that sound, huh? I don't know. Maybe, man. I don't know, okay? We need help, man. We're going to get out of here. Get on. Let's go. Come on. Oh, come on, Josh. Come on. Thank you, guys. He doesn't want us to leave, man. Listen to me. Listen to me. What are you talking about? Don't you get it? What? Can't you see, man? The demon. It doesn't want us to leave the house. 
that man. There's no way he can keep him from getting that. The back door. Shit, man. Without him, none of this would happen. My girlfriend would be alive. Your girlfriend would be alive. Yeah, you can't blame it on Mike, man. We had what no are you talking idea. about? We had no idea. We were just screwing around. We didn't know this was going to happen. Still, man. We hadn't... What? We're getting out of here. What are you going to do? Watch. Should be daylight pretty soon. Maybe that'll help us. If we live that long. Ah, God, help me! Josh! Help me, man! I'm stuck! I can't move! Come here, man! What the hell's going on? Josh! Help me! Josh! Help me, man! Help me! The soul of Dean. It was true, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Uh, is it over? Yeah, it's over. Oh, thank God. We need help. Please. We need help.
Why did you kill my brother? To free my soul. But I don't understand. The only way that my soul would cease to exist in the world of the undead and finally rest in peace was to find a new guardian, a keeper for a statue, and the art of that person. Why me? I knew he would not heed my warning to put it back. Now my soul is fused with the soul of the demon. You made all this happen? You made all these people die to free your soul? You bastard! No! He made this happen when he exhumed the statue from the ground and thy friends called forth the demon's soul. But it's gone. It's dead. I killed it. I saw it die with my own eyes. <laughs> the evil one! The collector of souls will forever exist. He cannot be destroyed. And speaking of time, I'm Joe Bob Briggs reminding you that hard work pays off in the future, but laziness pays off now. <laughs> you guys hear the one about the guy who runs into a veterinarian's office carrying his dog, and he's screaming for help, and the vet rushes him back to a room and he has him put his dog down on the examination table. The vet examines the dog's limp body and then he tells the man that his dog is unfortunately dead. And the man won't accept that. He demands a second opinion. So the vet goes into the back room and he comes out with a cat. 
And he puts the cat down next to the dog's body, and the cat sniffs the body. The cat walks from the head, head to toe, poking, sniffing the dog's body, and finally looks at the vet and meows. And the vet says to the man, I'm sorry, but the cat thinks your dog is dead too. Well, the man is still unwilling to accept that his dog is dead. So the vet brings in a black Labrador retriever. And the lab sniffs, sniffs the body, walks from head to tail, finally looks at the vet and barks. And the vet says to the man, I'm sorry, but the lab thinks your dog is dead too. The man finally accepts the truth. He thanks the vet. He asks how much he owes. And the vet says, $650. And the guy says, $650 bucks to tell me my dog is dead? And the vet says, well, my initial diagnosis was only 50. The additional 600 was for the CAT scan and the lab tests. <laughs> Joe Bob Briggs reminding you that the drive-in will never die. Guy lives real far away, and he's unable to attend his father's funeral. So he calls his brother, and he tells him, do something nice for Dad and send me the bill. So later, he gets a bill for 200 bucks, which he pays. Next month, he gets another bill for 200 bucks, which he also pays, figuring it's some kind of incidental expense. But every month, he gets another bill for 200 bucks. So finally, the guy calls his brother to find out what's going on. The brother says, well, you said to do something nice for Dad, so I rented him a tux. 